This video will show you how to use real-time landscaping photo. First, take a picture of the area you want to landscape using your cell phone or digital camera. For best results, do this when the sun is behind you and hold the camera as still as possible. Next, upload the photo to your computer using directions provided with your camera. To import a photo, click Start a new design using the wizard. Click Next, Next, Select the image you would like to use, and then click Open. Click Next, Next. This wizard will make a copy of your picture. If you change the original, you can re-import it using this wizard. Click Finish. Your photo is now ready to be landscaped. Use the middle mouse wheel to zoom in and out, and hold it down to pan. To add grass, click Region. Left-click to place points to create the outline of your region. Right-click to place the last point. Select this image and it will take you to a large selection of different materials. Make your selection and then click OK. To edit the look of the material, you can use these options. Then click Region again to add a flower bed. Left click to place points. Right click to place the last point. Select this image to change the material for a flower bed. Make your selection and then click OK. To edit the look of the material, you can use these options. Click Edit Points. Select the point or points you wish to edit. Click Bezier for a smooth controlled curve. Left click and hold the blue handle and drag. To add edging, click Edging. Left click to place points. Right click to place the last point. Click Edit Points and select Bezier to match the curve to your flower bed. Left click and drag to select all of your points. Use this slider to change the height of your edging. Click this image to change your material. Make your selection and then click OK. To add a plant, click Plant. Then click this plant image and it will take you to a large selection of different plants. To easily find a specific plant, you can use this search option. You can search by common or botanical name. Enter the name and then click Search. Make your selection and then click OK. Left click to place your plant. Adjust the plant size using this green box. Here is the design after more plants have been added. To add 3D objects such as cars, fencing, or furniture, click Accessory. You can choose from a large selection of different accessories. Make your selection and then click OK. Left click to place the accessory. Then adjust its size and rotation using these tools. You can use the options to help it match the perspective of your photo. By default, objects are drawn in the order that you added them, but that is easy to change. For example, suppose you want this plant to appear in front of the bench. Select the plant and then click Bring to Front. You can also change the drawing order in small increments by pressing the F and B keys on the keyboard repeatedly. When you are finished with your design, you can either print it or export it to a JPEG or PDF file. Anything extending into this area will not be printed. Here is the completed landscape design. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out ideaspectrum.com for more information about our software.